Hey everybody, uh, this is problem solving involving tens and ones. So we're going to hopefully find some patterns, you guys, to that involve tens and ones. This is uh, lesson 1.7. So here's our, our groovy question. How does finding a pattern help us find all the ways to show the number uh, with tens and ones? Okay, and there's our common core strand. Uh, for our awesome teachers understanding place value. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com and when you go there make sure you click uh, the second grade link. In fact, let's see if we do that real quick. Let's go to, let's see if it'll help us, MrMathLog.com. So here we go. So when we go there, somebody asked me about my integrated math textbook right there. And when we go there, if my internet will let us go there, uh, I'll show you. Here we go. Okay, so second grade is right over here. And when we click that, it's going to be placed right under lesson 1.6. Okay. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with this uh, awesome lesson. So this is a fun, easy lesson, I think, you guys. So Gary needs to buy 32 candles. He can buy, whoops, that should be a capital right there. Whew, I make lots of mistakes. Does your teacher make mistakes all the time? I do every day. He can buy single candles or boxes of 10 candles. What are the different uh, ways Gary can buy 32 candles. Okay, it's not going to be capitalized from here on, but I'll fix it later. So what do we need to find? Okay, so we need to find uh, the different ways that uh, Gary can buy 32 candles. And what information do we use? Well, he can buy, um, it says right here, he can buy single candles or boxes of 10 candles. Okay, all right. So let's draw a quick picture for the 32 candles and complete the chart. Okay, so um, uh, Gary, so remember he can buy uh, boxes of 10. So this stands for three tens right here. So this is actually 30 because three tens is is 30, and then 32 candles. So th uh, three tens and then plus two. So remember we can draw these sticks right here that count for 10. So 10. 20, 30, and then plus 2 is 32. Okay, or Gary can do two tens, so he can do, just, as long as this decreases by 10, we just add 10 over here. So 2 plus 10 is 12. So we can do two tens and, and 12 single candles. So a picture like that would be these two sticks, and then here's 5, here's 10, and then 11 and 12. So if we decrease it again by 1, the 10s the by 1, that means we'll add 10 to 12, so it'll be 22. So one box of 10 and 22 single candles. So we'll do one stick and then 22 um, uh, single tens right there. So here's 5, 10, 15, 20 and then 22 right there okay or we can buy zero boxes of 10 candles and then the whole single 32s right there okay so 32s would be 32 so here's 5 10 15 20 25 30 31 32 okay and if you don't know how to count by fives yet that's okay your teacher will probably help you this year okay all right, so here's another one. So Sam is putting away a pile of 36 crayons. She can pack them in boxes of 10 crayons or single crayons. What are the different ways she can pack the crayons? So let's go ahead and build this chart right here. So boxes of 10 crayons. So since there's 36 crayons, she can do boxes of 30s, 20s, 10s, and then zeros. So let's go ahead and put these down. 3, 2, 1, 0, so the boxes of 10s right there. Okay, so she does um, uh, three boxes of 10 crayons. That would count for 30, so for 36, we'd need uh, six more right there. Okay, so remember, when we decrease the amount by 10s, we just add 10 to this. So, so when this goes down by uh, 1, that means it's going down by 10, so we're going to add 10 to 6. So 6 plus 10 is 16, okay? Whoops, oh, I'm sorry. So this is 30 plus 6, that's 36 right there, okay? So this is going to be 20 plus 16 because remember, this is 20 right here, two boxes of 10. So this is going to be 16 uh, single crayons right here. Okay, so when we decrease this by one box, that's decreasing it by 10. So we're going to add 10 to that. So 16 plus 10 is, is 26. Okay, decrease this by 10. So if we add 10 more to that, that's going to give us 36 crayons. You're going to hear my 
air conditioner come on. We're in the middle of August right now. It's supposed to be 110 degrees right now. I live in Sacramento. Anyway, so that's what that noise is in the background. It's my air conditioner kicking on. All right, let's try one more here. Mr. Bullock is putting away 46 chairs. He can put the chairs in stacks of 10 or he can put them in single chairs. What are the different ways he can put all the chairs away? So we can uh, stack them in stacks of 10 and then single chairs. So since we have 48, then we're going to start with stacks of 40, then 30, then 20, then 10s, then 1s. Remember, as this decreases by 1, it makes this increase by, you remember, increase by 10. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do this. This stands for 40 chairs, 30 chairs, 20 chairs, 10 chairs, and 0 chairs. So 40 chairs plus how many will give us 48? Well, plus 8 right there. Okay, so if we take off one of the stacks of 10 to make it 3 stacks of 10, we're going to add 10 to this. So 8 plus 10 is 18. Okay, so we're going to take uh, one stack of 10 away. So that means there's only two stacks. So that means we're going to, for the single chairs, we're going to have 18 plus 10 or 28. Okay, so uh, decrease this uh, tens column by one. It's going to increase this singles column by ten. So 38, and finally 48 right there. Okay. All right. So describe the pattern that helped us solve the uh, the last problems right there. Okay. Well, each time the stacks of ten was fewer, the number of singles was ten greater. Okay. Does that make sense? All right, you guys. I hope that makes sense. And and to, as long as you keep trying harder, you, you're going to please everybody, including yourself, especially yourself. All right, you guys. Take care.